A massive amount of information is generated throughout the life of an asset. This data is stored in many places – databases, paper files, headquarters, and on location. And as a result, the information available to decision makers is often inaccurate, out of date, incomplete, inconsistent, or poorly synchronized. Siemens Plant Site Digital Asset Portal can help you to manage your assets and puts the information you need at your fingertips. Plant Site merges data from many sources into a rich visual experience, offering one portal for the complete life of your assets. Let's look at the digital reliability with a focus on turbines in our petrochemicals division. In this example, the organization has eight chemical plants scattered across a continent. KPIs are calculated for each asset and each type of production and are shown here. At this level, we can also see overall production KPIs and equipment health indicators at each facility, some production information, and even a list of bad actors, which allows us to go immediately to problematic assets. Let's take a closer look at the plant that seems to be causing the most trouble. At the plant level, we can see asset health by asset type, like exchangers, compressors, pumps, turbines, and so on. The portal gives us insight into many types of assets throughout this facility and combines basic engineering with sophisticated technical information from Siemens experts and other sources. We can look at pump data or heat exchangers. Back in the plant view, the health indicators have flagged an issue with the turbines. The overall health indicator looks good, but let's take a closer look at the turbine family. Here we see our fleet, sorted by health index. It looks like all eight are running. The first one on the list, an SGT800, appears to be having problems. This turbine is running, generating power. It does have a failed start in the last 30 days and several alarms. Our condition monitoring application has raised an issue involving lube oil pressure. Based off this information, this is likely our bad actor and the one we need to investigate. Now we're at the level of an individual asset. The left panel shows conditions that have been raised. At the top of the list is our lube oil pressure. That's the newest condition and it has not been acknowledged or worked by anyone. So we'll focus on that one. Our advanced analytics analysis suggests checking instrumentation for false alarms and for a plugged filter. This overview screen shows some overall performance indicators and key process variables. When we look at the maintenance view, nothing interesting comes up. There's a history of inspections on the lube oil system, although the most recent one was several months ago. Here we also see some failure modes. We may want to look into that further and see failure modes related to the lube oil system. As we scroll down, we see the lube oil piping fatigued, potentially a critical error, along with some failure facts and recommended actions. With the engineering view, we can see documents, parts inventories, and some design information. Let's take a look at the documents we have. Our COMOS system has a P and ID showing an isolation on our lube oil supply pump. Advanced analytics are available through the Equipment Health Monitoring application, and we can drill in for further information. We have some fact sheets and technical data. Here's a notification. When we open it, we see this one is related to that ventilation air inlet filter clogging problem that has come through from our condition monitoring team. Now let's look at the process. This view gives us a variety of schematics. This is the lube oil schematic. We can also look at the 3D model to get a full view of systems. This 3D model uses our Como's walk inside software. We can see the complete train, including the compressor, turbine, and all ancillary equipment. With the software, we can zoom in to get a closer look at the lube oil system by clicking here. The lube oil system highlighted so we understand where it is and what it looks like. Back on the schematics, we can see the lube oil supply pressure is low, one and a half bar compared to a two bar design level. 
let's look at some historical data for some additional information. Our trender shows that for the last two hours not much has changed, but we're searching for an issue that may have been developing for a while. So let's go back a bit further. We'll try eight weeks. Here we see lube oil pressure started dropping approximately five to six weeks ago and dropped steadily until it reached the current level. That tells us what we need to know. This tells us it's likely a plugged filter rather than an instrumentation issue. With an issue like this, maintenance is needed, so we're going to open a ticket and send it off. To recap, we have researched the problem. An issue was raised by advanced analytics related to low lube oil pressure. We have looked through the overview, the maintenance records, and the engineering. We've picked up some P and IDs, looked at the drawings, and saw some recent notifications. We've also looked into the process, reviewed schematics, and a 3D model, along with some long-term trends. Let's go back to the action panel and acknowledge the issue. This will record the fact that action has been taken and there is now an active follow-up to close the issue. With this complete tour, you can see how to access information from different types and sources through a single portal. From overall production to individual equipment, from engineering to operations, Plant Site Digital Asset Portal helps you see, understand, and take the right action. Plant Site, invaluable insights anytime, anywhere. Siemens, ingenuity for life.